Both with anecdotal evidence and with international research, we are finding cannabis to be incredibly effective for migraines. I see a great deal of patients who experience both chronic migraines and menstrually related migraines who find cannabis to be significantly beneficial to their concerns. In a recent study regarding cluster headaches and chronic migraines, patients who consume cannabis showed a 50% reduction in their pain as well as a near 50% reduction in the frequency of their headaches and migraines. There's a number of approaches when trying to address uh, migraines. I think for patients who are maybe reticent to engage with cannabis, even a topical on the temples can be a good way to start. That said, likely the most value would be in ingesting the medications. And I see a great deal of patients who get benefits out of CBD-rich medications in specific for migraines. Every patient differs in their experience with cannabis. While some cannabis patients using THC to address migraines receive benefit, others may find that THC is not so helpful for their migraines and may in fact exacerbate their symptomatic expression. I think for new patients with migraines, it's best to consider CBD-rich medications as a starting point and work your way through a range of ratios so that you're able to see how your individual body responds. Cannabis is biphasic, meaning it's very much dose dependent. A small dose may have a very different effect than a larger dose. So really, when starting to address your migraines, it's best to start small and get a lens on how your individual body responds to those medications. If you're comfortable with a small amount of psychoactivity, I often recommend a even amount of CBD to THC as the go-to ratio for migraines in the sense that it often provides the strongest analgesic response for the most number of patients. You can approach your dosing for migraines in a number of different ways. Some migraine patients approach it as an acute need only medication and utilize their cannabis only when they're beginning to experience their migraines, whereas others, particularly those with chronic migraines and menstrually related migraines, may find that they do better and see more improvement regularly consuming their medications as opposed to just an acute need context. If that's the case for you, I would highly recommend two to three times a day in particular of CBD-rich medications as your way to address chronic migraines or menstrually or hormonally related migraines in the long term. If you're looking at CBD medications to address your migraines, take note that an even balance of CBD to THC can be the most effective analgesic for most patients, and anything that has an even amount of CBD to THC is considered a CBD-rich medication. Those ratios can move from one to one all the way over to, for example, 30 to one, which would be considered a pediatric appropriate CBD rich medication. Migraine patients may experience benefits quite immediately when consuming cannabis as a way to address their concerns. In particular, faster delivery systems like vaporizing, like tinctures that are sublingual, may provide the most rapid benefits. That said, patients may also consider that they may get more benefits by regularly consuming their medications and seeing how those medications work in a longer run context.